Today we'll be making our cranberry flavored hard candy and we'll be using the new hand crank that you might recognize from a video that we did recently where two candy makers came all the way from Wyoming just to deliver us some candy making equipment. Have you seen other candy makers that have a scale similar to ours? No. No? No, I haven't. Yeah. Like, Actually, they don't really show them making up a batch. Oh, yeah? Yeah, most places I've noticed, I've never seen them. Hmm. They usually are pouring out the batch. They start out their videos, and, or, you know, pulling it off the stove and pouring it. So. Or I've, I've seen other places where they, they don't just have little buckets. They have like a little, uh, they have like a valve that they will turn yeah. so that they can yeah. get the corn syrup out, yeah. Yeah, that'd be yeah. nice. Yeah, they're a lot bigger than, <laughs> let's get a couple buckets. <laughs> Is this a full size batch today? Yeah, these are 24 pounds. So what do you have to set it to, like to tear it at with the copper kettle on there? <laughs> oh, the copper kettle is just, this one weighs 22 pounds, that one weighs 24 pounds, so. I put them on there, weigh the kettle first, of course, and then, then from there I take and put the ingredients in. Are we talking about a teaspoon? Yeah, just a teaspoon. A teaspoon. Helps stop uh, from cracking. Mm -hmm. And that little slightly different colored white is that, that cream of tartar. Should be 10? Yep, 310. And you're out of that cranberry. How many shots of that? Four. Oh. Oh, oh, we forgot to shut the doors. <laughs> That's the second time that happened today. Yeah. We got the doors twice. <laughs> So this is, I think, going to be the first time that we're making this that my mom is going to sell it as a standalone for the flavor. As it should be. <laughs> you like it's the cranberry? So good. Yeah, it is good. really good. This is definitely top three. Cranberry is usually not one of my favorite flavors, but this, this I actually really like. This and the cream is so good too. Yeah? It's the best. Like, I don't really like cranberry juice, but I like this a lot. Just, I don't, I don't didn't even think I like cranberry either, but it's so good. Do you like it? I don't. I'm not a big cranberry fan, but I like this. That's what I said, yeah, same thing. Is there any flavor of hard candy that you don't like? He likes everything here. He'll never <laughs> say he likes Yeah, there's uh, the hot stuff. <laughs> yeah. Do you like blueberry flavored hard candy? Because I know you yeah. don't like blueberries. Yeah, it's okay.
Okay, pink and red. Have you noticed like the difference between citric and malic acid? Notice the difference? Or no? Like is one more sour or like one um, lasts longer? I'm pretty sure one's like more lemony. And one's more soury. Pretty sure citric. This lemony one. I don't like sour, so I don't really care. I think mallet comes from apples. Really? I think so. Wow. I'm sure someone in the comments section can let us know. Let us know. <laughs> Who needs Google when you have hundreds, you know, like thousands of people watching? people. That side has more. So has more what? It's like uneven. So you can tell that side's higher on that oh, part. Okay, because this is like a little bit lower. Like, Okay. So we're going to cut it on the oven, huh. so nobody yell at me. You do this on purpose. So a, this is probably a little bit thicker down here? Yeah, it's thicker. Oh, okay. You really thought about stuff, huh? I would not have thought of that. <laughs> shot. There's many reasons. There's <laughs> hey, so if you list all of them, maybe we'll, uh, we'll let you know if you're yeah, right. Yeah, as long as they're interacting, they like yeah. that. So. I said we should get a light-up thing that says on air. <laughs> on air. <laughs> That's one reason. I gave them a reason. but. And we should get another reasons. one that says like ASMR, so then we know. People know to be quiet. <laughs> no one would listen. <laughs> you guys ever had a tic-tac-toe tournament on the candy? Of course. Who wins? Me. Yeah? Definitely. That seems very convincing. I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's very convenient, too. <laughs> you guys have to turn it off in between just to like save on gas? No, we would you literally don't want to heat up sweat the roll. Roll. Right. Yeah. Didn't the old one used to be on every batch? No. Uh, well, we left it on because, well... An accident? Well, we no, I on. needed to keep the uh, canvas hotter. The old one, I had to keep it going so that we... Otherwise, the table would be too cold. Mm -hmm. It was just a lot shorter, smaller. Yeah. Oh, it didn't, yeah, it didn't so like, come I over as much. Not. Yeah. <laughs> it's just... Yeah, we had to do it that way. Which I one do you... a piece of metal, too, uh, underneath the table. Underneath the canvas. To, to, uh, to keep it warm? Yeah, just yeah. to hold the heat warm. Yeah, this one gets a lot hotter. Yeah, this is, yeah, this you, is can, you can make this a lot easier. It's hotter as it is now. You can also just make more mistakes, too, right? With this one and, like, actually correct them? Yeah, it you gets can, so hot with enough. the old one, if it got cold, you couldn't warm it up. But this one, you can warm it up. Mm. It's hot. <laughs> <laughs> I like the snap and crap on pop. Thanks. <laughs> work hard to get good at that. Yeah, you can do it on purpose. <laughs> what I was doing for a second. I got to know. Is uh, transitioning to the figure eight hard? Is that like the hardest part of the? It's the first couple, because right. if it's wobbly, you're never going to get it back. <laughs> this is a small one though, so should be fine. I think this is our first YouTube video with the uh, hand crank. Oh, really? Yeah, because we've done a couple live streams with it. Um, other than the one where Ed and Helen dropped it off and showed us how to use it. Oh. That one. That one doesn't count. What's it at? 150. 154. Cool. I don't know what that means. <laughs> well, that would burn your hands. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, I don't know if people can see this on YouTube, but I can see the heat waves coming off of the, uh... Oh, the... the heater, yeah. yeah. It's hot. Yeah. Yeah, Julia's not kidding. I wouldn't lie. <laughs> How about something that serious? <laughs> no. I have a... I burnt myself the other day. You burned yourself? 
Yeah, that thing's hot. What were you doing? I accidentally put my arm against the metal part. Oh, okay. Wow, I didn't even need a hammer or anything. I'm here. <laughs> see if we can... I don't know if you guys can see the heat waves. I don't know if that... Wax. White, <laughs> White hard candy wax. <laughs> <laughs> well, this one doesn't sound as low as the other one. Yeah. This one's a little smaller, so yeah. not quite as low. Just a little Cessna? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> to shoot video with the crank being so big I keep trying to get the camera close and then <laughs> people are commenting that we could uh, shorten the length of the crank but there's actually one really good reason why you need a long crank so I saw one person comment recently that they actually knew why it was uh, so if someone can comment again the reason the pin it and then you guys will know a 
thought you were going to go away for a second. Oh. restoration video we watched yesterday now it makes it not look in such great shape compared yeah, comparatively. Yeah, it looks like <laughs> brand new or something. Yeah. I like better than brand new. Yeah. I gotta be surprised if it ever looked that nice. Switch jobs? <laughs> well, now you see what it's like. Yeah. Julia, she's got the job. Oh. Just baby through. Oh, yeah, everything's good. <laughs> Sorry, don't hit me. <laughs> Actually, can we make a really long one? Yeah, but there's no space if you want yeah. Oh, it's because it's got to be thin enough? It's got to be space Oh, yeah. That's true. Otherwise, they'll stick together, huh? Yeah, they're kind of... Yeah, if they're overlapping, they'll just get the cold. Almost done, anyway. Almost. Now, see, that's what, that was a cold piece. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's kind of like misshapen a little bit. Yeah, it's just cold. Gotta clean it through. Alright, see, now it's... Yeah, there we go. <laughs> yeah, now they're just getting, like, crushed. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Once it gets cold, you know, just see what you can get out of it anyway. Oh. Yeah, that might be it. Yep. I might get a finger in there. <laughs> yeah. Man, no. So that's, that's very pretty candy. Mm -hmm. I made the prettiest candy of the whole batch. Good <laughs> 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 But seriously. But I'm being serious. <laughs> Julia really wanted to taste test her favorite flavor. Can I? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
the best. I think that face says it all. Oh, that's so good. So a lot of them look like they break just on the road. On the yeah. road through the bin. Someday we can do a short showing you how slow it would be. Yeah. It's pretty smooth inside of there. Yeah, these, these they this get is... so smooth. It's a very satisfying. Yeah. Thing. And Ed, the one who uh, brought up the uh, this candy drop roller, he was the one who came up with this technique too. Just putting on a grate and rubbing it around. You're supposed to pick this up and shake it, but oh, yeah. we came up with a bucket. <laughs> Favorite flavor? Uh huh. I loved it. <laughs> I actually really like the shape of it. Too. I know they're so cute. Yeah. I don't know how it enhances the flavor, but it really does. <laughs> guys, it tastes more round. I don't know. No, thirty-three percent more round. Yes. Actually, this is. If, I think before we had, there were like square pieces, so that's like this is like a hundred percent more round. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> the final product: tart cranberry. And uh, how many different, just the one size, or? Uh, yep, just one size. What, eight ounces? Yep. Oh, okay. So far. So far. <laughs> well, yeah, because <laughs> before we were putting this in the fall flavor bags, uh -huh. and then so many people were asking about it, so we are like, all right, well, we might as well do a standalone yeah. flavor bag, because so many people have been asking. And it's actually my favorite fall flavor, too. Yeah? I thought that uh, for the fall favorites, Creams. My favorite is pumpkin mm. and then apple pie. But for the hard candy, it's cranberry. I actually really like plum as far as the assorted chocolates go. Oh. Yeah. I like plum, but not as much as pumpkin and apple. I like that it's more of like a sugar plum flavor instead of like the plum like the fruit, which I like, but I just don't yeah. think that would go well in like a chocolate. Yeah, you it's kind of weird it's called plum, huh? Yeah. Well, it's, it's like a sugar, sugar plum. Though. That's what I mean, like right. the sugar plums. To me, they don't taste like the fruit plums. No, they don't at all. <laughs> I, I do miss sugar plums, though. I wish they still made those. Wait, don't we? Mom, don't we buy them? No, no, no. They stopped making them a few years ago, what? Jelly Belly. Yeah, they Maybe they'll bring them back someday. If I guess we'll people. have to look up the top secret recipe and make them ourselves, <laughs> it was huh? Jelly Belly is a company, but I think they, they had uh, the factory clothes where they made them. Well, we don't have enough things to make during right. Christmas time anyway. Right. Yeah, I mean, most of them just sit around going, huh, what can we do? And then we go, oh, let's just take a nap. Yeah. yeah. And occasionally we're like, oh, I guess we could make some candy. Let's make a candy cane. Yeah, uh, let's not. That really was my favorite candy. Christmas candy. I know. I, I can't believe that they let that fall by the wayside. Yeah. Because yeah. people loved it. Mm -hmm. Poor Barb. I was just thinking that. Yeah. Do you think I we could ever experiment point. with any sort of gummy type candy? Uh, maybe. In like a summer? Yeah. Why not? I Can mean, it be sugar plum? 
Well, the thing is, it's giving that intense plum flavor. They have scientists oh. and chemists and stuff. I don't. Yeah. I have a flavor company. We got. <laughs> we've got Steve. Right. <laughs> yeah, they don't have that. That's true. You they may have, have chemists and scientists, but uh-huh. we have Steve. Yeah. And he's quick. Yeah, that's why they call him Quick Steve. 